Hi guys, just a quick one on installing uh, boost gauge in an Audi TT Mark 1. Uh, this is more about just the routing uh, for a centrally mounted vent, uh, a centrally mounted gauge in the vents. So I'm taking off the strut brace uh, to allow me access to the waterfall cover here because that's where we're going to run through. Um, I've taken the pollen filter out which just unclips um, and then I've taken this little panel off here as well, this little trim which just unclips from there once the pollen filter's out. So if you have a look at the back there, you've got a grommet just there, back corner. That's where we're going to be aiming for. It's nice and half the bottom of the scuttle panel, um, so less likely to get any water ingress. Um, so what I've done inside, I've had the glove box out, which is dead easy. You've got a few Torx bolts on the end here, one there, one there, one there, and then this one just to allow the cover to move a little bit. I've unplugged here, and then you've got across the top of the glove box three bolt, uh, screws there, and then just one there. Undo those, undo this plug here. Oh, glove box comes out, not very scary at all. So we'll get that out of the way. So from the inside here, that's the grommet we're going for. Nice and easy to get to. Nothing to worry about there. So I'm just gonna push that through. And then roll that over to the right from this side so we can get to it. So that's our access, nice and easy. Um, so what I've done is I've got my boost gate, boost, uh, can't get my words out. I've got my vacuum line. I've also got some two core in there because we're also running an oil pressure gauge, um, but the principle's still the same. So we're just gonna feed that through. So I've got it in conduit to protect it through the engine bay. And you'll notice that the conduit is nearly the same size as the hole that we're going through. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll retrieve that grommet from the other side and I'll trim that to fit uh, and put that back round. Again, it's all just about protecting anything that we're putting through the bulkhead. Um, so you can see it's come through there. Just fish your hand in and pull it through. What's it got caught on? It's got caught on the back of the ECU there. Just going to back it up a little bit. There we go. Just pull that through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it to the left hand side of that piece there. Then it's come out just there. I'm going to go... Pull that through. So, the route we're taking is down underneath there. It's going to come out there, it's going to come under here, and it's going to go to this area here. And we're going to basically cut into this uh, vac line that's going on to the fuel pressure regulator, put the little T piece in, uh, and job done. And then the oil pressure gauge will be uh, going onto a sandwich plate on the bottom of the, on the top of the oil filter housing, but that's a separate thing. So I'll just make sure that I've got roughly the right amount through because I don't want to be wasting any materials. If I can help it. Yeah, so I've got I've got plenty through there. So then this end here, what we're going to be doing is, again, I'm going to get this to roughly the right length. So we're going to be coming out of these vents here. So vents will pry out. I didn't have to use a screwdriver on these. I just used my fingers. But if they are a bit tight, uh, just wrap a screw a flat-headed screwdriver blade with a bit of tape to avoid marking the dash. And you can pry them out and there we go and then just here what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, round through this gap here again that's why we're, we're protected so it's, it's out the way of the glove box it's going to come through that gap there and then we're just going to push up from here and that goes through to the back here you can see my fingers there and that's the route that we're taking for the for the gauge and um, so it's as easy as that wiring wise um, I'll do a separate video for that, but that's your route for your, for your gauge. Thanks for watching guys, like I said I'll do a separate video on, uh, on powering those gauges as well. Thanks for watching.